Hey everybody, this is Justin and I am the Code Star. Uh, today's video, I am going to show you how to install a WAMP server. I know there's a lot of tutorials on that around the internet. However, not many of them go into also setting up virtual hosts. And so I'm going to take it a step further and go and do that as well. So first step is to download the virtual or the WAMP server. Um, I've already downloaded it so I'm not going to. So we'll come here and we're going to install it and I'm going to pause the video while it installs. Okay we've installed the WAMP server. Uh, it's real easy. Pretty much just click next a couple of times and it'll install. Once you get to this window, this is just telling to, telling you to choose your default browser. If you still use Internet Explorer, all you have to do is hit open. If you use Firefox, you'll want to go back and find your Firefox browser. And since I use Firefox as my main browser, we'll find that and click open. click next through this and hit finish. This icon has three stages. There's red, orange, and yellow, or green. Uh, red and orange, or yellow, um, mean that there's some sort of an issue with the server itself. Um, green means everything is golden, you can run it. So, right now, we could go here, and theoretically, uh, this is all you really need to do any local testing. You've got your PHP, your MySQL, you've got everything that you need um, installed. There may be a few things that you want to that you'll want to uh, change uh, with extensions for Apache and and PHP and all that good stuff. Um, but I'm not going to get into that. Uh, what I am going to get into is um, virtual hosts. I develop a lot of different sites and I like to do local testing so that I can test it before I show it to the client or to the developer that I'm helping out for the moment being. Um, and so I don't want to do local host this that this version two this yeah I mean it just gets too long you guys I'm sure as developers or newbie developers um, you have either dealt with this or you probably will deal with something with a URL that's kind of like this. Um, it gets annoying and tedious and it's just difficult to remember unless you bookmark it. So that's where virtual host comes in. This is it's it's awesome that Apache has it. Um, so instead of running local host I could do and we're gonna set up a uh, virtual host for my own personal uh, site that I'm working on um, which is the codestar.com um, but because it's on a local host I'm gonna do the codestar.loc now right now everything is going through normally this would uh, bring bring up a search and say that it doesn't but I already had WAMP installed um, and I uninstalled it specifically for this tutorial but one of my files is still intact and so that's why that's showing still showing up um, but we're gonna change that okay so I wanna say I wanna go to the code star dot loc I would just type that in and it would take me to that site makes it so much easier and so let's get on with the show and get this done. So the first step is to go to Apache, http://conf. 
Okay, now for me personally, I hate, absolutely hate, putting all of my files on the C drive. So I have a nice little external hard drive that I put all of my web files on. So uh, this step I have to do. Otherwise, I'm going to get a 403 forbidden. So we go. That's where I st store all my files is in G colon websites, and that's my external hard drive. Okay. Now, I'm because nobody else has access to this. I'm just going to show you how to set it up so that the only people that can view it is your computer. Uh, the first step is options, indexes, follow sim links, allow, override all, order, deny allow, deny from all, allow from 127.0.0.1. And we can save that. Now, there's still one edit that we need to do in order to get virtual hosts to work. And the easiest way to find the line is to just search for it. So we find vhosts.conf. And there's only one line that has that on it. And that is this line. And you'll notice that it's commented out. So we want to uncomment it and save the file. We can actually close that. So now we want to go to the vhosts file, which is going to be in the WAMP folder, bin, apache, apache, conf, extra, and httpd vhosts. And it comes with some standard vhosts. Um, but remember, I'm setting one up for my my personal site, and we're calling it the codestar.loc. So virtual host 80 and end virtual host. Okay, we can do server admin admin add the code star dot loc. This can be anything you want. You don't have to have it be that, but because you're the admin, it doesn't really make any sense, uh, any difference. Uh, now the document root. Now, for most of you, if you were keeping all of your WIMP files or your web files on your C drive. Uh, your document root is going to be something similar to c colon wamp www do uh, w uh, slash the code star something like that would work just fine for you um, however since mine is on a different uh, hard drive altogether we need to go g colon websites the code star dot com. Now we go server name the code star dot com and server alias www dot the code star dot com. Uh, the next lines you don't have to do but I like to do it um, just so that each virtual host has their own logs. So logs the code star dot loc and let's change these to loc because I'm on a local local host dot loc error dot log custom log logs the code star dot loc access dot log common okay so that is really all you all you need to create just a virtual host but 
if you just leave it at that, that's the only site you will ever see. You will not ever see this site again. So we want to create one for the default local host. So virtual host 80 virtual host. And for this all you really need is document root C colon WAMP www. And that's all you need. And we've got one more file that we need to edit and that is your host file which comes with which is packaged in Windows. So we go back to our main drive Windows System 32 Drivers etc and open up this host file here. Now by default you're not going to be able to save this at least on Windows 7. You can open it and edit it all you want but you won't be able to save it. And so what we want to do is change a few things. First thing is if this says read only you want to unclick it. Next is, is on the security tab you want to change users to have full control. So you just click the edit button click on users, click on this little checkbox here, click apply and then click OK and click OK all the way out. Okay, Then we want to open the file and I just use notepad because it's easy. Okay, So first thing is we need to create a local host. So 127.0.0.1 local host. Okay. Now we cre I created a virtual host by the name of the codestar.loc. So we do 127.0.0.1 the codestar.loc and 127.0.0.1 www.thecodestar.loc and we save that file. Now we restart Apache. We can just go restart all services and we wait for it to turn red and then it'll turn green. Okay, so we check out localhost. It's working. The code star Dot loc, and you'll see that it's pulling up but it's completely blank and that's because I do have an index.php file but I haven't added anything to it so let's go ahead and do that and we're just gonna do some quick PHP we're gonna echo out this is the code star dot loc on my local host server with virtual hosts set up Okay, so we've saved that file and we go back to it. Okay, and there we go. It reads this is the lo the code star dot loc on my local host server with virtual host set up. Now I haven't actually ever tried the www dot version, but let's go ahead and try that right now and see what happens. It's the exact same thing. So that is how you set up your virtual hosts on with WAMP on a Windows machine. If you have any questions, comments, uh, please feel free to put those on my YouTube channel or uh, at the bottom of this video. Uh, remember to uh, like if you like the information in the video. Subscribe if you want to see more. Uh, thank you for watching.